We are going to discuss the Grade 5 topic on growth and development. Plants and animals grow and develop throughout their lives. They change and go through different stages and processes. All of these stages and processes are called a life cycle. A life cycle also describes how one generation gives rise to the next generation through reproduction. Death can also occur during a life cycle. It can happen at any stage. Now, for growth and development, we concentrate on two life processes. The two life processes that are very important for growth and development are reproduction and growth. Plant life cycles. A plant life cycle is the process of a plant growing from a seed to an adult. The adult will reproduce so that there are more young plants. The stages of a plant's life cycle include the seed, seedling, adult plant, flowering plant and fruiting plant. During these stages, certain processes happen. This life cycle diagram shows the stages and the different processes. So let's look at the diagram. Okay. Now, you are familiar with the growing of a bean seed. When we grew a bean seed, we started with the seed which germinates. Then, from the germination, or the seed germinates into a seedling, and the seedling will grow into a mature plant, which is also known as the adult plant. The adult plant will start flowering. When the adult start, plant starts flowering, it will become the fruiting plant. And then the fruiting plant will have the fruit and the fruit will contain the seeds and eventually the seeds are dispersed. And then the seeds germinate to start the plant life cycle again. But during this plant life cycle, there are many things that happen. Think of the process of germination. Now, after a plant germinates, it has to produce its own food. So from the seedling stage, the mature stage, that means when it is an adult plant, when it is a flowering plant, when it is a fruiting plant, and when it disperses seeds, it must undergo photosynthesis. Don't forget that. The stages and processes of a plant's life cycle. There are basically six stages in the process of a plant's life cycle. They are the seed, the seedling, the adult plant, the flowering plant, the fruiting plant, and then death. But it doesn't have to be death because after the fruiting plant, it also will be dispersing seeds. So some plants die and other plants will continue and make seeds in the next year again. So you can either say death or you can say dispersal of seeds. So let's go back. We talk about the seed. Most new plants grow from seeds. Seeds have outer coats called seed coats. The seed coat protects the seed. The process whereby a seed grows into a new plant is called germination. A seed needs three things to germinate or to start to grow. Warmth, water and air. The seed coat splits and a tiny root starts to grow. A shoot starts to grow towards the light. Seedling. The seedling stage. At the seedling stage, 
The seed grows into a young plant called a seedling. The seedling grows and gets taller and stronger. As the seedling grows, the stem gets thicker and longer. Then the adult plant. The adult plant grows and matures into the adult plant. A mature plant is a plant that is fully grown and can reproduce. So we can either call it a mature plant or we can call it an adult plant. Then the flowering plant. Adult plants produce flowers, which are the parts of the plant that make fruit and seeds. The flower has the male parts that make the pollen and a female part that makes the eggs. You, we will look at the picture of a flower on the next page just now. Pollen is carried from the male part to the female part of the flower. This is called pollination. The fruiting plant. The fruiting plant, the pollen and the eggs join together and become the seeds of the plant. The seeds are contained in the fruit. The seeds must be spread away from the parent plant so that they can get sun, enough sunlight, water and space. This is called seed dispersal. Now the next stage is either death or seed dispersal. So let's talk about the death first. Plants grow old and eventually die. But plants or seeds can die during any of the stages of the life cycle. So, and after seed dispersal, some plants die, but other plants will remain and reproduce again. Let's discuss the flower. Now, when we grew the bean plant, we saw our bean flower. Now, flowers contain the parts needed for reproduction. The anther is the male part that makes the pollen. The anther is held by a stalk called the filament. The filament and the anther make up the stamen. The female part of the flower are the stigma style and the ovary and the ovary makes and stores the eggs. Another name or a name for the female part of the flower is called a pistil. Now if you look at our flower we have the male part. The male part of the flower is the anther and the filament. The female part of the flower is the stigma, the style and the ovary. We have drawn a flower And we have labeled the various parts of the flower. So you can look at your flower and you can compare the two parts. Now, you know that the flower, the external parts of the flower are the sepals. And they are used to protect the flower. And then we have the petals, which are used to attract insects. And then we have the ovary, which is in the female part. And it makes the eggs. And then the anther which makes the pollen and the stigma in the pistil which will receive the pollen. There's an activity here which says that you will investigate the parts of a flower. This you can do on your own. If you're at home you can find a flower and you can look at the different parts of a flower and see if you can find the various parts which is the sepals the petals, the female part, and the male part. Okay, now let's go to pollination. What is pollination? 
Pollination is when pollen is carried or the process where pollen is carried from the anther to the stigma, the female part of the flower. This is called pollination. Pollen can be carried to the stigma in two ways, by animals such as birds or insects or by wind. After pollination has occurred, the egg and the pollen grain join together. This process is called fertilization. Very, very important. And fertilization can only happen after pollination. The fertilized egg becomes the seed. The seed contains a tiny plant and stored food. After the egg is fertilized, the ovary of the flower grows and becomes the fruit. The seeds are found inside the fruit. So, after a flower is pollinated and the eggs are fertilized, you will find that all the floral parts will actually shrivel and die. And the only part that will be left is the stem. And the ovary, which will eventually become the fruit. Seed dispersal. Fruit and seeds must be spread away from the parent plant. This is called seed dispersal. Seed dispersal occurs so that there's enough space, water and light for the plant to grow. There are two main ways in which seeds and fruits can be spread. By wind. The fruit or seeds are small or light and they can be carried by wind. If you look at the examples here. The dandelion, I'm sure you've seen a dandelion and a bush willow. The dandelion is light and moves with the wind. Then seeds can also be dispersed by Animals. The seeds of fruits are juicy and brightly colored to attract animals. They eat the seeds of fruit and disperse them elsewhere in their droppings. All the fruits and seeds have hooks to catch onto the animal's fur. After the seeds are dispersed, they fall onto fertile ground and the new plant grows. Therefore, we call it a life cycle. It is a continuous cycle. Thank you. I would also want you to take down from your books all the terms that are on pages... So we first put down the heading growth and development and then you must write down the keywords from page 43, page 44, page 45, page 46. I also want you to do activity 1 where you are going to be looking at the flower and then activity 2 which is simple. You just have to complete question 1, 2 and 3. Thank you.